Um, I just really uh, quickly want to say thank you to Noah and all of Occupy Museums and also to my colleagues um, Chris Liu and Mia um, Locks, sorry, moment. Chris Liu and Mia Locks who are organizing the 2017 Whitney Biennial and whose inclusion of Occupy Museums in the show sort of enabled this to come together as quickly as it did because they are sort of part of coming into the institution already and um, it's really exciting um, that like, uh, you know, what's to come, this is only a taste of what's to come it, is how I feel about this. So, um, as Noah said, I'm the Director of Public Programs and Public Engagement here um, and uh, I work in the Education Department and I'm going to mostly talk about that, but I um, just wanted to also say, as you hopefully know, that we need decision to remain open for today and to offer special programming and there are programs after this should you um, choose to stay here and if you want to stay with the art, um, we'll be here and open. Um, and that. Um, so th uh, this decision for the museum is an affirmation of our commitment to open dialogue, civic engagement, and the diversity of American art and culture. The importance of art and artists to those pursuits was affirmed by the Whitney's founder, Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney, um, and our director, Adam Weinberg, reminded us of, the, of her words this morning. Um, she said, quote, it is so much simpler to let others think for us than to think for ourselves. Um, and it's art that helps us do that thinking. Um, so I'm going to just shift to talk about, um, I'm not going to elaborate those values, but instead I'm going to talk about the values of the Whitney's Education Department, which is the context in which I do my work here. Um, and we have a process, an ongoing process in our department of um, working on our values and figuring out ways that we can better um, realize them. So. Um, the first one, the first value is one that permeates the whole museum, um, and that is that the Whitney is the artist's museum. Um, what that means to us is that artists are deeply involved in shaping all aspects of what the Whitney does. This leads us to work to ensure that the Whitney is and continues to be a gathering place for both established and emerging artists and a supportive space for all artists. For visitors, our artist-centered programs and resources can offer compelling alternatives to conventional ways of thinking and making sense of the world. By, take, by taking our cues from artists' points of view, the Whitney underscores the value of creative and critical thinking, as well as fosters deeper appreciation and understanding of what artists do and the important role they play in our culture. The second value is that artworks are material singularities, and they offer alternative experiences that encourage us to slow down pay attention, reflect, and also sometimes speak out. The Education Department strives to make the Whitney an environment that fosters close looking, sustained attention, direct experience, commitment. Third, we value critical thinking about art. We seek to create a space where visitors and artists but can learn, question, and make sense of what's on view and the world in which those works exist fostering open-ended thinking and acknowledging that there are no easy answers, moving away from an emphasis on the transmission of ideas in one direction and simple art appreciation. We approach art as a chance to interact and to emphasize the viewer's role in creating meaning. We're committed to exploring new approaches and to developing interdisciplinary, multidimensional programs, materials, sort of ways of showcasing art. And I'm gonna just end with um, there are more, but I'm going to end with um, one that I feel like is particularly salient to today and one that Noah and I talked about briefly, which is that art is a right, not a privilege. Art plays a transformative role in society and by helping to build and broaden cultural participation. An art museum like the Whitney can have a powerful role in sustaining and advancing a democratic society. We believe that access to art should be a right, not a privilege. A great museum is much more than a collection of objects. Museum scholar George Hine has written, quote, museums were founded as educational institutions. One way or another, museums inevitably interpret their collections for visitors. To assume they aren't educational institutions is to shirk their basic responsibility. A museum is only a warehouse, an archive, or a storage place for objects if it doesn't welcome visitors and in some form attempt to educate them. Just as our collection displays in this new building present a more expansive and inclusive picture of what American art and culture is today and what it has been and what it will be, 
Our programming likewise aims to engage a more diverse public and over time build and broaden arts participation. So, thanks. <laughs>